Peace Games is uh, founded on the notion that children want to be peacemakers. Peace is more than uh, just resolving conflicts and stopping fists from flying. It's creating a real sense of investment and creating a just, fair, equitable world for kids and adults. Peace Games is an organization that partners with elementary and middle schools to create not just safe schools, but safe communities, safe cities, a uh, safer world by empowering kids with the skills of peacemaking and to empower them as agents of social change and leaders in their schools and their communities and role models to create kids who will change the way adults and society thinks about violence in young people. Children are capable of not just being peacemakers but creating real change in their communities. Children are agents of social change and they are the mechanism for creating a better and safer world to put kids in positions of leadership and let their voices be heard. Learning the skills of peacemaking is no less important than the skills of math or reading. Just like violence is learned, so can the skills of peacemaking. The curriculum includes a combination of games, literature, arts and crafts, real conversations, role plays, a variety of different things. It is developmentally appropriate for the age. So each year a child has peace games, they focus on a different skill of peacemaking. All ages are affected by peace games in what I hope is a profound way. Where the real learning happens in a game is in the debrief, is in what happens after the game has been is, is finished. Our three basic questions for debriefing are what, so what, now what. We're mining for the aha moment. When peace games partners with a school, um, we make an investment in that school. We hire a person to go and be in that school and live in that school every day. Um, and schools are invigorating, wonderful places. Um, they're also incredibly complex and challenging. Peace Games tries to challenge kids in schools to think a little bit deeper towards changing the way people think about kids and what they can do and what they can accomplish and seeing them as problem solvers. So we're going to start with an Energizer game called Energizer 8, and this is how it works. We are going to raise our right hands, and we're going to do a countdown. We're going to start with 8, we're going to go to 4, we're going to go to 2, and we're going to go to 1. Sounds easy enough, right? Yeah. Uh, the trick is to get our energy up, you need to do it quickly, and you need to do it with energy. So I don't want to hear 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I want to hear one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right? Ready? All right, here we go. Let's get that energy up. All right. I think we can do it. I think we can do it faster. One more time, all right? Ready? There wasn't enough energy. We got a whole Peace Games class coming up. We need lots of energy, all right? Ready? Set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 so what I have are a couple <coughs> juggling balls or tennis balls. Does anybody here know how to juggle? No. No. Not really? No. Most people can juggle. I can juggle a little, but I'm a little out of practice. But if we work together, we're going to all be able to juggle, hopefully. So this is how group juggle works. I'm gonna, we're going to start with one ball. I'm going to look at a person in the circle, and I'm going to pass them the ball. But I'm going to introduce myself before I pass them the ball. So to start, I'm going to pass the ball to Tatiana. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, Hi, Tatiana, and then I'm going to say my name. I'm Casey. So I'm going to say, Hi, Tatiana, I'm Casey. Thanks, Casey. I'm Tatiana. And Tatiana says, Thanks, Casey. Great. 
what Tatiana is going to do next is pass it to somebody else in the group and say her name and introduce herself. I'm C. I'm Tatiana. Thank you, Tatiana. Mr. Hi, C Adriana. is going to pass it. Hi, Adriana. I'm Mr. C. Thanks, Mr. C. Hi, Kayla. I'm Adriana. Thanks, Adriana. Hi, Calvin. I'm Kayla. Thanks, Kayla. Hi, Nico. I'm Calvin. Thanks, Calvin. Hi, Fabio. I'm Nico. Hi, Nico. Oh, thanks, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I'm Fabio. Oh. <laughs> Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. I'm Fabio. Thanks, Fabio. Hi, Mimi. I'm Chris. Thanks, Chris. Hi, Casey. Yeah. Thanks, Mimi. So that was good. We got one ball in the air without dropping it. We're going to see if we can add more. So we're going to try it with one ball first again and try and do it as quickly as possible, underhanded, of course, so that we're being safe. Ready? Hi, Tatiana. I'm Casey. Thanks, Casey. Hi, Tatiana. Thank you, Tatiana. Hi, uh, Adriana. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm Mr. C. Thanks, Mr. C. Hi, Kayla. I'm Adriana. Thanks, Adriana. <laughs> Hi, Calvin. I'm Kayla. Thanks, Kayla. <coughs> I'm Calvin. Thanks, Kayla. Hi, Fabio. I'm Nico. Thanks, Nico. Hi, Chris. I'm Fabio. Thanks, Fabio. Hi, Mimi. I'm Chris. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Mimi. Okay, that was good. We're going to try and do it faster, and we're going to try and do it with more balls. Remember who you threw it to, and remember who you're catching it from, all right? You're going to have those people's names burned in your memory, right? Because you're going to be watching for those juggling balls coming, ready? Hi, Tatiana. I'm Casey. Thanks, Casey. Hi, Miss Tatiana. Thank you, Tatiana. Hi, Adriana. I'm Mr. C. Thanks, Mr. C. Hi, Tatiana. I'm Casey. Hi, Calvin. Thank you, Tatiana. Hi, Thanks, Kayla. Hi, Nico. I'm Calvin. Thanks, Calvin. Hi, Tatiana. I'm Casey. Hi, Casey. Hi, Kayla. Thanks, Mimi. Hi, Tatiana. I'm Casey. Thanks, Casey. Thank you, Tatiana. Hi, Adriana. I'm Mr. C. Thanks, Mimi. Hi, Tatiana. I'm Casey. Hi, Nico. Thank you, Tatiana. Hi, Adriana. Hi, Casey. Thanks, Mimi. Hi, Tatiana. I'm Casey. Thank you, Tatiana. Hi, Mr. C. Thanks, Mimi. Hi, Kayla. Oh, hi, Calvin. My name's Kayla. Thanks, Kayla. Hi, Nico. Come. Hi, Casey. Hey, Thanks, Mimi. <laughs> Thanks, Mimi. So, good job. You can see that was hard, and sometimes they drop. You just pick them up. You keep going. But we got three balls in the air at the same time. So while many of us couldn't juggle on our own, when we did it as a group, we were all able to juggle and be successful. So thank you for playing group juggle with me. This game is called Rainstorm, and this is a game that we often do at the end of our Peace Games class. We do the energizers in the beginning to get us excited, right, get us moving. And we do Rainstorm to cool us down, to finish it off in a nice way, and this is how it works. The game's called Rainstorm because we're going to make, it sounds like a rainstorm, we're going to make our own rainstorm in the classroom. And this is how it works. When I look at you, you're going to do the same thing that I'm doing. All right. It might be this. It might be this. It might be this. It might be this. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to keep doing that until I look at you again with something else. All right. So if I look at you and I do this, when you see me look at you, you should be doing this. Only when I look at you. And if I stop and look at you, you should keep going until you see me look at you again. Good. So we're going to add some other things and make our own rainstorm, okay? You keep going until I look at you again with either a new movement or with nothing, okay? Ready?
yourself around the boss. So, you can see we made our own rainstorm. We're starting soft, getting loud, to moving away. So thank you. So that's called rainstorm, and that's you one of our... Yeah, you can totally hear it. So that's one of our transitions.